Hey guys, welcome back to the Joven Finance YouTube channel. Today, I wanted to talk about credit cards, but to be more specific, I wanted to talk about the two credit cards that I'm looking at for when I turn 18. You can get a credit card before you turn 18, but you don't really have a good track record of paying back money, and no bank will probably give you a credit card. So, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit that like button, and let's get into it. So I turn 18 in about five weeks. And when that happens, I wanna get a big jump start on building my credit score. Because as an adult, credit score is everything. And one of the best ways to start building your credit score is through credit cards. Because when you pay back a credit card in full at the end of every month, you are creating a track record for yourself. And if you can consistently pay back your credit card in full at the end of every month, it shows your banks that you are responsible and that you can be trusted to pay back loans or mortgages you take out in the future. So when I turn 18, I'm getting a new iPhone. And for that reason, the first card I'm hopefully gonna get is the Apple card. The reason for trying to get this card is because if I use my Apple card to buy my new iPhone, I can get 3% cash back on the full cost of the iPhone right away. So if I trade in my old iPhone, which I'm gonna do, I can bring the cost of my new iPhone down to about $599 plus tax. So the total for the phone ends up being around $650 anyways. But with the Apple card, I could save around 20 bucks off the phone right away. And it's 20 bucks that I can use to invest in something else. Also, with the card, I can just pay the monthly installments on the phone. So I don't have to buy anything else with the card. And every month I can just pay off the monthly payment on my phone and I get to start building my credit score without having to buy anything else for the next two years. So if I could get the card, I would use it to just pay off the monthly payments on my phone, and I would never use it again. And if I did get a physical card, it would just sit in a desk drawer somewhere collecting dust. The Apple card has some other features as well, but they're not that good and they're probably just there so Apple can make more money off you. The second card I'm looking at to get for when I turn 18 is the M&T Bank Visa Signature Credit Card. This credit card is good if I can't get the Apple card, and the reason I think I would get this card is because I already have an M&T debit card with them, and my dad has a good relation with the bank. So, having accounts with the bank, and having a dad with a good relationship with the bank, means that I will probably have a really good chance of getting this credit card. This card is nothing special, but I think I have a good chance of getting the card, and then I can start building my credit score with it. This card has 1.5% cash back on every purchase which is nice. I mean, if I get this card, I would only spend like five to $10 a month on it and then just pay it off right away. So 1.5% cash back wouldn't be the best, but it's better than nothing. There are so many other perks with this card, but cash back is the main focus along with no annual fees. So both credit cards have their own perks, but getting any credit card is the best thing that you can do when starting to build your credit score. But with credit cards, you have to remember that you have to pay your monthly bill in full at the end of every month because it is the biggest thing to remember when having a credit card. And the biggest reason for that is because the interest rates you will have to pay on top of the money you already owe. So with the Apple credit card, if you don't pay the full bill at the end of every month, you could be paying between 10.99% to 21.99%. And it's all based on your credit worthiness. Then with the MNT card, it is between 11.24% and 18.24%. I mean, this is how credit cards make all their money, by people not paying back the money they spent on the card, and then at the end of every month, the company slaps them with major interest rates that they have to pay back. So you really have to be careful when it comes to owning credit cards. They have a lot of benefits, but there are also some downsides if you don't pay back in full at the end of every month. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, and I'll see you in the next video.